Web Beds is the, uh, the, the B2B uh, division of Webjet, which is a, a large Australian travel company who works in both B2B and B2C. Uh, Web Beds is the, uh, is the, the B2B uh, division, which uh, comprises of uh, five brands, so lots of hotels in the Middle East and in the Americas, fit rooms in Asia, Sun Hotels in, in Europe, and Jack Travel, which is operating, and Total Stay, which is another sub-brand of Jack Travel, acquired uh, last year. And uh, we are operating uh, in all global markets with that. So we have, uh, Webbeds uh, has been around in one format or another through the, the, the various brands since uh, 2013. Uh, and started it as a startup in the Middle East and has expanded through uh, organic growth and acquisition uh, since then with the acquisitions of Sun Hotels and most recently Jack Travel in, uh, in uh, 2017 to, uh, to grow uh, into the, uh, the, what is now Webbeds. And with that acquisition of Jack Travel, um, the scale of the organization is now such that we're looking at how we use the Webbeds as an overarching uh, reference or a brand, although we will still trade under the existing brands, and look at uh, how we will structure the business. And we're moving from a brand-based structure that we had prior to the acquisition of Jack to a regional-based structure, uh, integrating all of the brands and businesses and teams into one organization to, uh, to continue the, the growth story that we've had. It's a fantastically successful growth story that we've had uh, over those in those five years. You know, I think in the first uh, first d day of trading or first week of trading, they traded twelve thousand dollars back in two thousand thirteen, and uh, in the first half of our financial year, to thirty first of December, we uh, we traded uh, in the region of six hundred and thirty million Australian dollars. Uh, so, uh, uh, and that we uh, have ambitions to continue to grow that. And uh, the addition of Jack is obviously. Uh, very pleasing for us and we've just uh, completed integrating all of our commercial teams so we will have uh, joint teams uh, working across the brands in each region dealing with our supplier and customer partners to make sure that we uh, we optimize the relationships and give them the, the best service and the best production. Your customer strength is in which region at the moment? I would say our, our customer strength uh, is, uh, is is global. I would say the, uh, the the biggest area for us from a source market perspective remains Europe. Um, we are uh, we are we would say we're the we're the number two player in Europe in the in the B two B space. We are we are very strong in the Middle East. Uh, Asia is uh, is um, growing fast. We've only we've only really been operating um, as Fit Rooms was a startup in November 2016. Obviously, we've uh, added some volume from uh, acquiring Jack Travel, who have operations in in, uh, in Asia as well. But Asia is our fastest growing area, but not yet not yet the biggest. As a source market, as a source market, mm -hmm. uh, probably probably the fastest growing as a destination too. They, they kind of go hand in hand for us. But the uh, but in terms of uh, absolute size, then Europe is the Europe is the biggest for both and USA is USA is growing growing very fast very um, b bigger a bigger share as a destination and growing uh, growing as a source market um, so uh, that's also it's also developing and we're again we it's a more recent entry for us we haven't been in that for the whole of our existence but Jack in, in a meaningful way. Jack has uh, but it's not, it wasn't their, their core market either but they have solid 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 business in both North and South America so throughout throughout the Americas and we are looking to uh, to Accelerate that growth now as part of the uh, a part of the, the consolidated organisation. So. You briefly mentioned destination product Asia Pacific. Okay, you're strong in USA. Yes, and of course, always have had uh, Europe. Yes. Yes, and, and uh, one of the reasons why the, uh, the acquisition of Jack was very uh, attractive to us is that uh, the, uh, the Sun Hotels business, is, uh, although it operates in both beach and city, has a particular strength in the, in the, in the Mediterranean beach areas. The Jack business has a, a very great strength in cities, so it was, uh, it was a very good combination, a very uh, good synergy to, uh, to be able to bring those two businesses together. Not a lot of overlap in the, in the core strength and direct contracts, so we were able to great increase the number of direct contracts we had through that through that acquisition and Europe still remains also our biggest destination uh, region um, but again the other regions are uh, are growing very fast and uh, and we uh, you know we want to be material partner to both customers and suppliers in all the major regions of the world so uh, in consolidating yes. uh, I believe you you pretty much 
keep all the company staff intact. Yes. So integration in the back office, is that uh, going to take place, say technology? We're, we're currently reviewing the options for uh, for, te for technology. Uh, we want to be uh, we're very careful about how we review this. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, you know, technology is absolutely critical to our business. Uh, travel is, is uh, you know, uh, a, a, a fine balance of a people business and, and a technology business. So clearly, you know, the, the main technology is the main means by which we uh, we interact with our customers every day, and uh, we need to make sure that we uh, we make the right decision. But uh, in, you know, in an ideal world, we would uh, we would look to uh, to uh, rationalise uh, some of the, the number of platforms, but we won't uh, we won't do anything uh, foolish, uh, foolishly, or, 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 or as a knee-jerk reaction. It's not for us. It's not a, a cost issue. It's about making sure we have the right the right platform to uh, to grow the business, uh, to continue to uh, grow that business. So uh, we are we are reviewing our options at the moment, and then we will we'll take a decision and, and move forward. Uh, once we've uh, got through that, but it's uh, it's obviously it's something that's very very important to us. Besides growing these businesses now, you have uh, are there more acquisitions uh, always uh, open for that? Um, Webjet is Webjet is always open to looking at more acquisitions. Um, uh, obviously, uh, I wouldn't be in a position to comment about any activity they would be involved in, but we're uh, we're always open to opportunities uh, to. Uh, to improve our improve our position, and so uh, we uh, we're, we're 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 open in the market. If there are if there are good opportunities, uh, the uh, M&A team in Webjet will uh, will review them and look at uh, what the how uh, productive they could be to us. But if anybody wanted to learn more about uh, the group. Which website should they go to right now? If they want to learn more about the group, they should go to uh, currently to Webjet's uh, corporate website, which is webjetlimited.com. Uh, that's the uh, that's the corporate website of the parent company. We are currently working on the uh, on the on the Webbeds uh, website. Uh, we are uh, we're in we're in the process of developing the Webbeds brand and the Webbeds uh, online presence as the uh, as the holding, if you like, organisation of the B two B brands. So, gotcha. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you, Charlie. Great to talk to you.